So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P1451 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P1451 code? Well, it's an EVAP emission control EVAP system vent control valve circuit. And what does this mean? Well, modern cars have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off. This is for emissions. And the onboard computer's seen a problem with this, so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting to know why. And the most common cause of this is gonna be the vapor vent valve or in the wiring. And there's some other parts of the EVAP system that might cause this problem, but usually when these other things go bad, they give you other error codes. So if you are getting other error codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so the basics of what's going on in the EVAP system is you're gonna have gas vapors that are gonna leave the gas tank, they're gonna come up through a hose, they're gonna come up to what's called a vapor charcoal canister, and this basically holds all the gas vapors when the engine's not running. And there's also gonna be called a vent valve solenoid, and this is gonna be located on the charcoal canister or around it somewhere. It's usually combined in the charcoal canister, but it can also be separate sometimes. And then the hose is gonna leave the charcoal canister and it's gonna go up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve solenoid. And when you get a P1451 code, the onboard computer is seeing a problem with this vapor vent valve solenoid. So that's going to be the main thing to go and check out. The vent valve solenoid is often located in the charcoal canister, although it can be separate sometimes, so it's really going to vary. It's just going to depend on the Ford and the year and things like this, but it's still going to be located somewhere around the charcoal canister. So the thing to go and do is locate the charcoal canister on your particular Ford and then find the vent valve that'll be located somewhere around it. Once you locate it, check out the wiring real good. Be sure it's not damaged or anything like this going on. Basically, keep in mind, anything wrong with that wiring, open, short, bad connection, things like this, it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad vent valve. So you're going to want to check that out and be sure that all looks good. If the wiring all looks good, then very likely that vent valve is just failed and just needs to be replaced. You can't test it if you want to. There's some different ways you go about testing these. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, quite often there's an option in there where you can enable and disable it. And you can hear a click if it is working and things like this. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing these. You can't test it if you want to, but very likely if that wiring is all good, then that vent valve solenoid has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P1451 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.